Hello and welcome to the business scenario that we're going to solve today using DAX. It's called quality check. We're going to evaluate what rows of a particular column contain special characters. Suppose you have been tasked to clean up some data and you need to know which of the rows contains these characters that you need to remove. Now the cool thing about this trick is that you can have a separate list that you can later update, add or remove the special characters that you want to evaluate or add other keywords. And the special thing about this solution is also that you can repeat it multiple times. You just have to update your tables with the new set of data and you don't have to rewrite the formulas or rewrite the calculation. You just go through another iterations and see the new results. So let's jump right into it. So we have here our list of special characters that we're going to evaluate. You can add more, you can delete. That'll depend up to you. And I already added those two tables in the data model, the names and the special character list. So we want to know if any of those names contain special characters row by row. So we're going to create a calculated column. So for that, we're going to need a little bit more space and let's start writing the formula. We're going to speed up the video a little bit in this part so we don't spend much time writing and we're going to explain how the formula is working in the next part. We're basically using an if statement, the sumx iterator to go to each of the rows in the character, especially character table. And we're using the expression find so we can search for that special character in the current row context that we are. So meaning the, the first name, for example, and that will be repeated into each of the rows of the name tables and we will have as a result uh, a check whether if that particular row has or not a special character. As you can see here, each of the rows that has a special character has the, the, the keyword that we just put in. You can put anything that you want and now you have solved uh, the scenario that you have on hand. Now you can, you can pivot this data, you can just uh, grab the names that you want to see and you can filter on the new column that we created so you can have only the special characters, the names with special characters and you can assign them to your team or to whoever is going to clean up this data and start removing these uh, special characters. Before we finish the video, we want to explain what's going on inside the calculation. All right, let's go to our sketchboard and try to explain how the formula is currently working. Let's suppose we have our name table right here and you can have as many rows that you want. It doesn't really matter. So let's suppose we have on the first row, we have my name, but on the third character, there is a question mark. So we want to check if that particular row has a special character based on a separate list that can be maintained by the user. You can change, update it, and put as many special characters as you want. So what we're doing with the formula is that we're using SUMX and to go to each of the rows in the special character list, evaluating the find formula for each of the rows, trying to find the special character in the name and the current row that we are evaluating the formula and it will return a number. The number is the position of the character. And if it doesn't find anything, it will return a zero. So the iterator will go to each of the rows, returning uh, different numbers based on what it finds. And at the end, it will add up everything. So once we have the final result, we are telling with the formula, if this is greater than zero, then we have a special character in that particular row. So that concludes everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Irvin and this is PowerGI.